Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic in this particular training session which is on SUM which stands for Software Update Manager. So basically this particular tool is being extensively used for all the upgrade and maintenance and implementation of support packs. So let's see how do we install and configure this tool. So this particular tool comes as a SAR file which you can see in the system that this is a SAR file which is there and what we are doing is we are basically going to extract this particular SAR file in a particular folder and once we extract this SAR file okay so what we are doing is using the sapcar minus -X xvf then this sum which is basically its sp06 version we, we have and we are going to extract this file so after the extraction is done basically what we'll do is we normally go and change the permission so that it has full privilege in that particular sum folder for carrying out any activity with respect to the upgrade or update or implementation of service packs so right now what is happening is that you can see in the screen that we are extracting this particular tool called sum okay sum as it stand it replaces the tool for upgrade for update and for implementing support packs so sap ehpi basically it was sap enhancement package installer which is replaced by sum sap up which was a tool for upgrading a web based system this is replaced by sum sap j up which is the tool for upgrading java based system this is also replaced by sum jspm which is basically a java support pack package manager which is also replaced by sum and ce update manager basically this was a tool for updating composition environment systems this is also replaced by sum and finally the solman up a tool for updating and upgrading sap solution manager is also replaced by the sum which is the software update manager tool so for maintenance activities that are supported by the sum the usage of the substituted tool is no longer supported so starting from q1 2013 this particular tool replaces all these tools that is sap ehp i sap j up sap up jspm c uh, c update manager solman up and this particular tool actually this is available since 2011 and as part of the software logistics tool set 1.1 we can find this tool and we can download it using the software optimizer download list as well okay current version is as of now it's sp07 Okay, so when we start the sum tool, basically what you can see is that you are seeing different services which is started by this tool, and it is running on port four two three nine. And finally, on the last screen, you should see a process called SL controller started. So when the SL controller is started, we can go to the web-based interface. Basically, we can go to the URL and type hostname colon four two three nine. So what will happen at that point of time is basically it will connect to the upgrade process which is running on the system and once it is connected to the upgrade process within the system you can carry out the upgrade related activity so here you can see that this is starting at port 4239 and when it starts you can see what are the reference or the software update manager guides which can be downloaded from this particular interface as well in case if you want those guides okay now this being a java applet once you connect to this particular process you will see a java applet for software update manager starting okay so it's being started and we will see the different activities which is being performed okay you can connect as an administrator user so the first time it will be as administrator user and you need to define the username and password using which you can connect to the software update manager tool so just take note that any update any service pack upgrade any updates any upgrades will be performed by some tool only as you can see that once you connect or to the some tool it will identify as a step one what type of system it is is it a abap system it is is it a 
Java system? Is it a single stack or dual stack system? And depending on that, it will provide you the information. So, and next step, what it requires is that it requires a stack configuration file. That is the XML file, the stack.xml file. So we should download the stack XML file by generating the stack using maintenance optimizer in solution manager. So any upgrades, any updates, any service packages which need to be applied in the system for which we want to use the sum tool, we should go and generate a new maintenance, maintenance optimizer that is MOPZ transaction in solution manager using the solman underscore work center T code. And once we go to the change work center, we will find maintenance optimizer that is and we can just create a new maintenance transaction and select the system that we want to update or upgrade or apply service packages and we should be able to generate the stack file based on that. So just take note that it is extremely important stack file plays a major role in identifying what we are trying to do, what is there in the source system, what is we need in the target version and target release so that the system can automatically identify the packages which is required to be present, which is required to be installed, which is required to be there in the download basket. So once we give the right file, what will happen is that as a standard check, it will ask for the note number that is, it will ask for the keyword and that keyword is present in that particular, in this particular note number. You can see the note number there. And once you give that note, note number, in this particular screen, you can see there is two information. One is the source system version and another is the target system version. So in the source system version, you can see it's EHP 4 for SAP ERP 6. Target system version, you can see EHP 6 for SAP ERP 6.0. So here in this particular screen, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to upgrade a ABAP based system that is an ECC system from EHP 4 to EHP 6. Okay, using this sum tool. So when we start, we, we land up in the initial Initialization phase and once the initialization phase is complete, we get into the extraction phase. So in the extraction phase, there is different type of extraction takes place. And you can see if we go to the ABAP screen, it says that enter the path of the download directory. The tool recognizes the following type of file, basically the stack configuration file, the DVDs, the ABAP patches for support packages or add-ons, a BAP kernel for the target system. So these are the different type of files which can be recognized by this and we need to provide the download directory location. Okay, so once we provide that particular download directory location and if the location and the file name that we identified is correct, what will happen is that it will start the scanning the downloaded for download directory and based on the scanning it will say okay what information is present in the system here i am again going back to the screen and we can see that sl controller is started and if we go to the abap folder in case if it is a abap based system we can just go to abap and under that log and we will find the information about what is being done in the abap folder or if we just go back under SDT folder will find the configuration logs before we can get into this screen. Okay, now let's go to the log folder and in the log folder you will see this is extremely important folder. Any activity which is being performed, which has already performed on the system will be tracked here. So one of the very most important thing is that we should make sure that we preserve this some folder during the entire upgrade process. Otherwise, what will happen is that in case if we lose any of these files, we will not be able to continue with the upgrade because the information may be incorrect. Okay, so now in this screen, basically what you are seeing is that we need to supply the passwords for DDIC user, basically the SAP DDIC user in client triple zero. We need to supply the password for OS specific CDDM user and SAP service SID user and we need to supply the password for the system user and on the database. So depending on the type of system, we will, we will have different passwords for these three user IDs. 
okay so that is one key thing because what happens is that based on this information provided it will try to connect okay and as and when if you see that there is the system is down if the system is not available because what will happen is that it will connect to the system to validate these passwords so just make sure that the database is up just make sure that the sap system is up and we should be able to connect to these services that is the if we have any app, app server so we should be able to connect to the app servers so that is extremely important because if we connect cannot connect to the app servers this will not move because it connects to the sap layer it connects to the database layer and that's how the upgrade process that's all i wanted to share in this particular training video thank you for joining and have a nice